Alrighty guys, and welcome back to more Persona 5. We are here. We have 11 days before Haru is sold off. We got plenty of time. We got plenty of time. Those 10 more days than I actually need. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> here we go. Let's get it started. Uh, we want to actually go ahead and go to the bookstore. Because if you guys remember, uh, we went to the bookstore and had read Master Swordsman, I believe. And we destroyed it. We destroyed that book. And we want to go ahead and buy a new book. Because apparently the way that bookshop works is if you read a book that you buy from there, a new book basically appears if you fully read the book you bought previously from that shop. But anyway, here we go. Let's talk to these guys and see if they say anything new. I want to change your heart. I mean your heart. I mean... Okay, yeah. Maybe they'll say something new in the future. I doubt it though. But we need to go to Jibocho. Jinbocho. Alright, should be able to buy some new books. As you finish reading, that was good. Very impressive, considering how you young you are. Alright, let me sell you another book. What do you like? Call me Chief. Chief. Alright, his warm character shows much kindness. Don't really need kindness at this point, but we, we need to just keep reading these books until we get, you know, to a book that basically allows us to speed up reading books. And we want to read these books so we can unlock a trophy that, you know, that we get for reading all the books. <laughs> But anyway, what we want to do is go to Shinjuku Red Light District, and what we're going to do is raise our affinity with Yusuke or Takimi, and I'm thinking it's just going to be Yusuke, because I need at least two free days to actually boost Takimi, I believe, so I need to get a fortune reading, and I'm going to boost what shall we do? Yusuke. Right, Yusuke Kitagawa, 5,000 yen, we're running low on money, so... Yeah, but we don't have like, we're, it's not like we're running low on resources, we're just running low on money. And I kind of need money for like the day-to-day -day activities such as fortune reading and buying that really expensive ass item. We need 500,000 yen to buy a really good looking ass item from uh, the Shady Commodities and I really want to try to get that. What shall we do? But anyway, um, I don't think I should actually do a luck reading. There's no reason for me to do a luck reading. So what we're gonna do, we got the book from Jin, Jinbocho. So what we're gonna do right now, we did the Yusuke reading, so we're gonna hang out with Yusuke. So we're gonna go to Central Street, no, Underground Mall. And is here. Hanging out with Anne would be pointless. It would just be, oh yeah, you you spoke with Anne, and that and that's the end of the event. And I went to the wrong area. I was supposed to go to the underground walkway, because that is where Yusuke Kitagawa is. And but what the? This is not where Yusuke is. Oh, it is where he is, but it didn't put me to where he is. You know, he should be around the corner if I'm not mistaken. I normally just shortcut to him, so I'm actually kind of bad at. It. Yeah, okay, let's just warp to him. I don't know where he is in here. I don't want to meet up at the palace, my dude. I want to talk to him. Oh crap. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know what I can do. I think I could just do this, right? Oh my god. Underground walkway. Let's try this again. How did I pass him up? <laughs> like, oh my god, dude. Anyway, we, we found Yusuke. I almost completely got thrown off. I'm not gonna lie. But here we go. We're gonna talk to Yusuke. It's you. And boost him up. And I think I was trying to say something before. Oh, yeah. So, because I'm like kind of like speeding up the relationship by talking to the fortune teller that boosts our affinity. We are pretty much bypassing the hangout sessions, and between those hangout sessions, you can actually get gift to decorate your room. So, luckily there's no, to my knowledge, luckily there's nothing associated, there's no trophy associated with getting all the gifts in the game. But yeah, we're missing a, we're missing like a handful of gifts that we could be getting from our confidants because we're speeding up the process of, you know, ranking them up through the fortune teller the fortune teller is pretty much skipping the hangout sessions and we're just going straight to the next event but i just thought i'd just what? mention that for you guys 
But I mean, then again, like it's first playthrough, I want to do as much as I can on my first playthrough, you know? Second playthrough is usually just used to clean up stuff, so hang out with Yosuke. Yusuke! I keep calling him Yosuke now. I like to enter momentums again. Okay. Let us be off. Alright, Yusuke, let's do it. Hmm. Alright, this place never fails to amaze me, no matter how many times it comes. Where does this passage even go? It feels as though I'm being sucked inside merely by gazing upon it. Bruh, what if I just pushed you inside? <laughs> so this is the heart of a man. It is ugly yet beautiful. The duality is what makes humanity such an interesting subject. I love this music that they play during this. It's so good. That <laughs> is <It's> so good. <laughs> as you know, I've been confused recently about the reason for my art. Did I want to be recognized or did I just want to capture pure beauty? Was it due to my talent or was it just my upbringing? Each answer would seem correct at first, yet only prove itself false upon a more in-depth examination. Akai... What are your thoughts? My mother was painting the Suyuri. What do you think she was thinking about, her son? The pain of separation? I don't know, man, bruh. Bruh, I, I ain't artsy-fartsy, dog. Her love for her son, I, I would bet. Yeah, such love is almost embarrassing to have pointed out to me. You are probably right. But. <laughs> However, I believe that was not the only thing she thought about. It seems that Suyuri was meant to impart something with me, and all others who view it, for that matter. Love, regret, loneliness, anxiety, calm, and hope. All of the emotions my mother felt conveyed plainly to the viewer. That is why it has such a profoundly unique impact on those who see it. The paintings pale in comparison to such depth of meaning. <sighs> How could I have hoped to convey pure beauty with my limited palette? And yet, the painting has kept me going this whole time. During particularly difficult nights, it was there to soothe my sadness. It acted almost as a ray of light cutting through the somber dark. How could this be? I had wanted to create a similar beacon of hope for others, but it seems I lost sight of that goal. Look. This world is a dark, unrelenting place, Akai. But that is why I'm going to wield my brush again to give hope to all those who see my paintings. You've really changed, Yusuke, even though I've said this several times already. Yes. Yes, thanks to you, you chose to help me work through my problems instead of leaving me to my sadness. My profound sadness. <laughs> now I will use my art to paint over the blackness of this world. Yeah. It shall become a vivid realm of, full of hope. I expect it will be a most beautiful sight to behold. Perhaps you will see it someday, Akai. Bruh, I'm seeing it right now. What? Yeah, I'm just joking. <laughs> Protect, chance to, ch yeah, he's gonna die for me, bro. Yeah, he's gonna die for me. He's All gonna right. die for me. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> this radiant light grown within me. It must be the light of hope. I shall paint it. Yeah, we're gonna pretty much max out Yusuke this episode. <laughs> I can sense shadows in the area. We should leave mementos before we get body. Like what happened with the slimes. Bam, bam. One of the best tracks. Do, do, do. I love that track. Ah, you two. Oh. Kawanabi san. On your way home, you clearly have time on your hands, Yusuke. I'm on my way now to prepare for the competition. Speaking of which, do you plan on entering? And indeed I do. Your pride may not be too pleased with the outcome. After all, the winner's spot is not simply yours for the taking. I suppose whether you ultimately opt to enter is entirely your decision, though. The more the merrier, yes? Ah, ah, ah. Ah, 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 ah. I see. The winner's spot. Ah, oh, yes, I was hoping to prove my talent to him by taking the top prize. That no longer matters to me, though. I'm going to enter my painting merely so others can be exposed to it. See you later. All right, Akai, see you later. All right, man. See you later, Yusuke. Ah, you're back. You're back, huh? Yeah. Alright. Are you free? Uh, are you free? 
<laughs> I'm only asking that because I whooped your ass in that fighting game the other day. <laughs> what are you talking about? What kind of girl are you talking to? Oh, I was actually thinking about Futaba, not Oya. <laughs> anyway, we're going to stop by the washing machine. Okay. And we're gonna, you know, use it. We're gonna have Kawakami clean the rest of this gear. Add another item. Uh, we're gonna wash as it is. We're gonna have Kawakami do it. Hi! Hi. <laughs> Got it, leave it to me. Boom, 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 boom. Dining bar. This is open until 2 in the morning. Well, it's a leisure spot and gear for adults, I suppose. Can't really do anything there. Anyway, I wanted to do that. Uh, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do today. Kawakami's already maxed. I will actually hang out with her. Mishima's ready to go up. Mishima. Yeah, what's my yeah, let's go hang out with Mishima. Heavens no. Oh, can we win a new uh yes we can. We can actually win something new. A big bang burger thing? Big, did it say Big Bang Burger Coon? <laughs> this is the critical moment. Careful! Careful! No! Well, my proficiency is ass right now, apparently. Let's give this a go, man. I hope we don't get stuck here for like eight years. Here we go. Come on. The box is too heavy, man. Oh, baby. Bruh, it better not fall. I was gonna be, I was gonna be triggered. <laughs> I thought it was about to fall out. The Big Bang Burger Coon doll. You should put it somewhere in your room when we get home. Yeah. Alright. We also got another crane game. I feel like I've seen this somewhere. It's that big doll in, uh, in Shibuya, I think. Outside selling data cubes or something. I don't know. Anyway, we're here for Mishima now. Um, we're gonna go talk to Mishima at the current time. He should be over here somewhere. I think he messaged us. No, Oya did. Dude, so like, I ain't gonna lie. Final Fantasy XII has been spoiling the hell out of me. Like, every game, like, I've been trying to like speed up the game with L1. And Zodiac Age, the new rendition of Final Fantasy XII, you know, the remaster, allows you to speed up the <laughs> gameplay and it lets you run through like so much stuff so quick. And I've been trying to do that here. Oh, so I've been researching that actor that I came across some, uh, and I came across some substantial new info. Are you free to hear what I found? What? Well, I can I can probably hang out with him. What what rank am I? Leave it to me. Oh yeah, we gonna hang out with him. All right. Bum, bum, boom, bum, boom. What you find, man? Um, so you know that actor I suggested as your next target? Apparently, he's marrying the idol from those mo rumors. Really. He probably just couldn't live with himself after what he did to her. Really, his reputation did a uh, reputation, not reputation. His reputation did a total 180 after he announced the marriage. Though people used to hate him, but now all everyone wants to talk about is how sweet and manly he is. Oh shit! Did he do something? Please don't tell me he did something. Please tell me he didn't take advantage of her girl and it was beyond her consent. At any rate, we can't oppose the will of the public. Good thing we decided not to change his heart. Really? Support for the Phantom Thieves would have really dropped if we had. Oh, okay. I need to make sure our next target is one we can win against. What exactly will we win? <laughs> Proof. Proof that we're the ones doing the right thing. Actually. By the way, I came up with a new attack of... Okay, Mishima had me... Mishima had me worried, dude. Mishima out here making me sweat for no reason. <laughs> if we really want to make you guys famous, we need to do more than just answering promising requests. Right now, there are tons of idiots out there doubting you and trying to influence others to do the same. So we're going to purge them. Mishima! 
You really need to chill, dude. Sorry. Sorry about that. Purge is a pretty disturbing word, huh? Yeah. There's not really any better way... No really better way to phrase it, bro. The truth is, I looked up some of these idiots who were criticizing you and sent them warning messages. You know, something like, if you don't change your wicked ways, you'll be our next target. What? I'll have you know, it's been working wonders. They're totally... They totally stopped this in the pee thieves. <laughs> there are still some people who say they don't believe, but deep down, they're just afraid of you guys. My book, Mishima is about to have a palace, my dude. Mishima is about to have a request of his own. We're gonna have to whoop Mishima's ass and mementos at this rate. <laughs> Isn't this great? Plus, now that all those haters are gone, people are putting a bunch more info in the forum. Post after post after post. It's always pleasing to help me. <laughs> this is so much fun. Mishima, bro. This isn't like you. All I did is find my own way to change people's hearts. I'm above the simple stuff like producing and advertising now. I can change the world. I have the strength to do that now. Oh. Huh? Akiyama. <sighs> Akiyama-kun. And Mishima, I haven't seen you since graduation. We actually saw each other in here not that long ago. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Hmm? Aki you Akiyama? What? Are you okay? What do you mean? Does it look like I ain't, okay? ain't okay? I don't know, you just seem quiet. Shut your mouth, Zero. I don't got time to be listening to you. Zero. Damn it. He acts like I'm totally nothing, but he still takes time to try and mess with me. I've changed though. I'm way better than a loser like him. I've even heard he's been hanging out with some shady people. They're all scum. I wish we could change their hearts for the good of our society. Excuse me. Uh, yeah. Oh. Okay. Wait, that's it. We can change his heart instead of that actors. All right, it's decided. Your next target is gonna be Akiyama. Let's see, where's his new info? What? Uh, speaking of targets, are you guys gonna come after me someday too? We very well might. <laughs> You're really considering it? <laughs> Good joke, Ikari. See you around. I'm heading home. I'll send you Akiyama-kun's info later. Mishima's trying to push a target on, a, on us to advance his own agenda. <sighs> I should discuss this with the others. Damn, we didn't even rank him up, B. So, he just wants to get revenge on a guy who makes fun of him. Didn't he give us some other re weird requests too? Something about that handsome actor? Is Mishima-kun trying to take advantage of us? Apparently he has also threatened anyone who dares speak ill of the fans of Thieves on his forum. Perhaps we should enact a change of heart on Mishima, not this Akim <laughs> Akiyama fellow. <laughs> Wait, hold on. He ain't that bad. Yep. I guess we could find out what's happening if we manage to find his shadow. I mean, he's already worried that we're going to change his heart, right? We'll probably be able to track down his shadow in mementos. All things considered, I think our best course of action would be to defeat it and change his heart. Mm. Mishima-kun feels almost wrong to consider such an option. But... We can't have him causing problems for us, though. Either way, we can decide whether or not we can change his heart later. For now, we must meet his shadow. This is the only way. Now, let's, let's head into Mementos. Alright, do I get to walk around? Is this a free trip to Mementos and I get to rank up Mishima? That would be great. Damn! <laughs> Who are you? Could you be the Phantom Thieves? <laughs> so you want to change my heart? Even after everything I've done for you guys? Me of all people? If you just shut up and listen to what I told you, the Phantom Thieves would get even more famous. If you did that, I'd get some of the spotlight too. I wouldn't be just some stupid zero anymore. There's finally some hope back in my life. So why? Why are you so insistent on stopping me? Yo, losers, get out of here! I want to talk to your leader alone, really. OK. 
Hey man, damn. This is all your fault. Before you came along, I knew my role in life. I was supposed to be the guy everyone messed with. I had accepted that I was a zero, embraced it even. But once I figured out you were one of the Phantom Thieves, everything changed. You just had to get close to me. Damn it. I mean, seeing a real life hero do all this amazing stuff made me wish I could do something more. I want to change society too. I want the world to notice me. If I can just make the Phantom Thieves famous, maybe I'll end up famous too. Would that really satisfy you? I don't know. I'm not sure, but I don't have any other choice. I don't have any special powers like you guys. Heck, nobody even pays attention to me. In the end, that's why I need you guys. You're the only way I'll be able to make a name for myself. I know it's wrong, but if I can't push my way into the spotlight now, when will I? Anyway, you just bring it on already. You're here to fight, aren't you? What? You aren't going to change my heart? <laughs> We're leaving. Hey, come on, let's go. I'm sure he learned something if he's been spending all this time with us amazing heroes, yeah? Damn. No. I need the Phantom Thieves. I need to be famous. I need to... Damn, this is a weird uh, social link. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, ancient shirt. All right, I'll see you later. See you later, alligator, Miss Kawakani. See you later, baby. See ya. See ya. It's my wife, boo. Target Okumara. Take him out. It's an order. Damn. It's an order. Is that, is that how people get nowadays? Oh, look at this. We're back in our, like, fall suits. What do you think will happen to Okumura Foods? Shucks. Well, even if the CEO has a change of heart, the company's image is still in ruins. I imagine their stocks plummeted. You think Okumura really exploded his employees? Every little rumor goes viral these days. What if it was all just a lie? If so, the real victims here are the employees themselves. Nah, the rumors about Okumura Foods were all well known in the industry. You're overthinking it. Why aren't we cutting it kind of close, my dude? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, we are kind of cutting it close. So I think in a few days we'll do it. So it's honestly hard to focus with all this looming over us. Totally. These lectures are just going in one ear and out the other. Sounds like business as usual for you, Ryuji. <laughs> I'd be glad to help you study if you need it. I'm a third year after all. Good girl Haru. I wish I could say no, but I'm in some deep shit here. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll take you up on that once we finish our mission. Good point. Dividing our focus between two dilemmas cannot be good for us psycho psychologically. Well, only 10 days remain. This may be our most crucial moment yet. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see what's popping in that DMs. No training? Do you have plans? Contact me if something comes up. I'll be at school for a while. Oh, well, nothing right now. No training? Okay, let's see how everybody wants to do this. Is anybody ready to rank up today? Makoto's ready to rank up. Shinya's not ready to rank up. Hang I don't think I can hang out with Yusuke right now. Futaba's ready to rank up. So let's stop by the red light district and probably hang out with, not even hang out, but you know, promote Shinya. We're gonna promote Shinya. Oh. Ra -ba -ba. We're gonna get a fortune detail or a fortune what reading. What shall we do? Trinity reading, and we're gonna go ahead and boost up Shinya. Yeah, we're gonna boost up the gamer stuff. No matter what the weather, she wears the same stuff, huh? Here we go. Here I go. Here I go. 
Here I go! Remember Popo? Here I go! <laughs> Shout out to Popo. And I bet you can even deepen your friendship even further now. Nice. What do you think? What do you think? I think I'm actually gonna hang out with my girl, Makoto. Makoto! Let's see what's shaking with your girl, Makoto. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I didn't want to talk to the student council door, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to talk to the principal. I mean, uh, you know, the leader of the student council president. Oh my god! <laughs> the student council president is what I meant to say. I'm fumbling, my dude. Fumbling, tumbling, crumbling. Alright, let's go. Let's see. Wow, we're rank 9 with her. Holy shit. Let's hang out with her. I want to dig up some dirt regarding Aiko's boyfriend, Sukasa before we confront her about him. Okay. I was thinking of asking around the red light district for right. info. Yup. What better way? Yeah, you gotta be prepared to, before you take on some shit like that. Alright. I see stories a lot about horrible hosts like Sukasa all the time. However, we need solid proof of what he's doing if we're gonna convince e Aiko. At least some of the promoters around here may know something. Let's As my go. father always said, finding evidence takes serious legwork. Aw, she makes me want she makes me look for leads, dude. What do you want? We don't let couples come in together. I'm looking for someone. Do you know a Sukasa? Do you want to sabotage our business? I'll I'd gladly talk some more out back if you want. We should get out of here. I think it would be better if we had someone else. He was trying to box me, my dude. Wait, are you high schoolers? Is that what we look like? What a good joke. You're exactly the kind of person we like. Come right this way. Do you know Sukasa? Oh, is he a host or something? But I'd never promote for a host club. Are you pranking me? I can't talk to you forever, you understand. I think he doesn't know anything. We should look elsewhere. Alright. Let's talk to her. Let's talk to the people highlighted. We can go to- Oh, come on, just, man, come on, Makoto, please, please. I know what I'm doing, all right? I know who I'm talking to. Hey, you already have a shop in mind. We have done the discounts, bruh. Promoter. For you, the glasses discount, the curly hair discount, the slouch discount, the couples discount. Come on, bro. Do you know Sukasa? We don't have a Sukasa discount. Man, if you took a ton of effort to answer your question. It took a ton of effort to answer your question. He'll come to my club to make up for it, right? Wow. He'll get tons of discounts. Don't follow him. We need to work. I'm a little worried, though. I wonder if anyone actually has info. What about this guy? How about you come to our club and we show you a good time? You got money, though? You seem like a poor young kid. You know Sukasa? Sukasa? You bastard. You a friend of his? I'm not. You using the sake bottle trick? Oh! Let me make it clear for you. Get that girl out of there. Sukasa is known for wrecking life. He breaks a sake bottle then ends up selling the girls to pay it back. Wow. Some same thing happened to one of my friends, damn it. We have proof now. Come on, it's almost time for Aiko shifted. Let's wait for her in front of the shop. Okay. That was some extra legwork, dude. What do you want? Oh, she's got her uh summer, or not summer, but she's also got Aiko's got her winter stuff on, which is interesting. Hey. Or fall, winter, whatever. Aiko, your boyfriend is infamous around here for tricking girls into debt, then forcing them to sell themselves. Moreover, he's probably doing it in conjunction with a criminal gang. You need to get out of there. You seriously came all the way here to tell me that? Get out of here, Makoto. I've had enough of your lying bullshit. I have testimony from one of the promoters in the area. You're not the first girl Sukasa has lied to about a broken sake bottle. He doesn't ask for much at first, but the interest piles up. Eventually, he'll ask you to sell your body for money. Please reconsider this relationship. Shut up! I already have a day planned for, for today. We're going to stop by his club. So stay out of my way. Yo, did I make your way, babe? I came a little late after seeing your text, but I guess you're already here. Hey, I know these guys. Wanna hop on over to my club with us? It's gonna be a total blast. They were saying some bad stuff about you, honey. Like how you get girls into death and then force them to sell themselves. They're lying to me, right? 
Huh? You believe that crap? Listen to me. Nothing like that's ever happened here. I never lied to you, princess. Hmm. This is always princess with you. Why don't you ever call her by her real name, Sukasa? Or are there too many princesses in your life to remember? <laughs> my boy is pressured. Sukasa? Say my name. What? What are you freaking out for? You just texted me, remember? I could never forget you, Makoto. Wow! You dumbass! <laughs> you dumbass! <laughs> Hold it! <laughs> I'm the one who texted you. I'll be five minutes late today, BB. <laughs> I even added tons of emojis at the end of it to make it sure. shirt. <laughs> Got him! Got him! She got him so hard, dude. She added all those emojis to make it seem like it was Zyko. Admit it, every girl you get money from is your princess, right? You can't even remember names anymore. Don't you see, Zyko? This is who your boyfriend really is! But, but you tricked him! What would you know about love, huh? Sukasa's all I have. Leave me alone, bitch! Oh! Oh! War Star! Whoa, Star Baby! <laughs> Wait up! You already know this truth. <laughs> you just don't want to believe it. Stop lying to yourself. Uh-oh, uh-oh, you gonna slap him? You gonna slap him too? Oh, I was waiting for another slap. Somebody's getting slapped. But Sukasa is the only one who really cares about me. Nobody asks me about my day or how work is going. Nobody else treats me like I'm special. Perfect girl who lives up to everyone's expectations can never know how I feel. So stop trying to feed me your honor student bullshit. This has nothing to do with me being an honor student. I just can't rest knowing there's such an evil in the world. And I damn sure won't keep quiet while my friend has her life ruined. That's for you apologize to Aiko. Stay away from her from now on. You're really starting to annoy me with this shit, you bitch. Don't think I'll go easy on you because you a chick. I'm, I'm gonna teach you a lesson you won't forget. I dare you. Your fight's with me, man. Come on, fam. You trying to catch these hands? You trying to catch these hands? You trying to catch these hands? What was that, you bastard? I said you trying to catch these hands, my nigga? You trying to catch these hands? You trying to, you trying to go behind that alley over there? You trying to scruffle? You trying to scrap, my boy? I got maxed. I got max stats, my boy. You trying to fight me right now? If you really want to start something, be my guest. What? Damn it, I'll remember this. That's right, bitch. Run. <laughs> he wasn't so tough after all. Dude, we both was gonna whip his ass. <laughs> uh, this sucks. Aiko. Whoa, did you see that? Was that girl fighting with a host? They were really going at it. People notice what happened. Follow me. Follow me. You're right. Staying here now is only gonna cause us more trouble. I go. <sighs> My boys! Y'all out here trying to catch these hands! This dude, I was ready! I was ready to throw hands with this man! <laughs> I can't believe I actually hit one of his, hit one of my friends. It looked like it hurt. That was the right move. You really smacked her. <laughs> Man, you really smacked her, dude. <laughs> Honestly, didn't expect to connect so well. <laughs> but I needed a way to make uh, wake her up to the rela reality of the situation. You know, I have a bad habit of acting in the moment. I can't help but get swept up in the emotion. That's why I always have to take extra care to keep myself composed. My father was the same way. That's not the proper way to act, though. There's no telling what would happen if you hadn't stepped in. Uh, um... That aside, this place is, uh, interesting. <laughs> How did you ever find somewhere like this? You know so much. I'm a regular here. <laughs> hmm. So you come often? Sorry to believe you're really a high schooler. You have so much more life experience than me. Honestly, spending time with you and getting to know Aiko has given me a great deal to think about. 
There's so much you can miss by living with your head buried between the pages of a book. I thought I knew how the world worked, but the more I spend time with you guys, the more I realize how naive I was. But... I see now that there are some things I need other people to teach me. Do you remember how Aiko said I would flunk a test about love? Well, um, I don't know how to study that subject. <laughs> Oh my god, what should I do, Akai? I should probably choose my words carefully. I'm already in a relationship with another girl. I can't learn about romance myself. <laughs> Ooh, I'll be your study partner. Oh, that's smooth. That's a smooth ass line. <laughs> I can't learn about romance myself. My god, that is smooth. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh my god. That is a smooth line. I'm not gonna troll her though. You'll find someone some someday. Yes. Alright, right. People who say those kind of things are destiny anyway, so I probably shouldn't worry myself over it. And besides, I should at least try to focus my, on my schoolwork right now. Let's work hard to achieve our goals together, Akai. Yes. Alright. Protect. Chat the shield joker from an otherwise fatal attack. Yes. Alright. Alright. Let's go. Dakota can now use protect. Yeah. Oh yeah. Our boys are maxing out. You kids done with your little heart to heart yet? <laughs> Sorry about that. It's rude of us to stay here so long after only ordering tea. Don't worry. Just a glimpse into the fresh drama of yours is the only apology I need. <laughs> it's like a nice spritz of lemon in the air. Makes me think back to when I was just a wee girl. Well, um, All right, I think we will be going. All right then. See you again. All right, Makoto. See you later. 